More sail! Less sail! Run up the sail! is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. <laughs> Aid me. Be my eyes.
Knut! Raun og Griff! Defeat the raven this day! He's hiding at the summit of the hill. I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people in the air, calling witness to He doesn't leave this monastery alive. Can't do this alone. I'll snap your Ah! <laughs> 
Flash you! Give me a hand with this. On a plate! And you dirty turtles lost it! You'll die in agony, fuck out! You can't kill me, so I'm not truly, but what I am is unkillable! Stop flapping your mouth and die! me to banish me from your minds fight in my name die for me die for me that is no way to go for sacrifices their lives for yours is that how it works their lives meant nothing no land no riches no titles but my name will live on the reputation of a good man never dies but your name will soon be a curse So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time, but trust. That will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, so the end of the Hey! Come here a moment! But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, so. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. <laughs> Give me a hand over here!
do you see, Sunan? Get back to the ship. Go, Sudan. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone, even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon.
Eivor! Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grand Bridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. Greetings. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Good day! A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. 
Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. A 
I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Let's see you, old friend. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. So long! Oh, thank you, A4! This... this is the place we needed! What have you got for me today? That all for now? I have to go. See you soon. See you late. May I see your stores? All right, if you're done. I must take my leave. So long. So long! I would like to see what you have in stock. 
you have a keen eye for quality. Done for now. I'm off. Be well, friend. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> Survey the area, Sunan. a more permanent spot. You're just in time for new stock. May I see your stores? You know, you are my second best customer. Is that everything? I would like to see what you have in stock. You know you have use for this. You should buy that. As a friend, I think you should buy this. It looks made for you. I imported this with you in mind. Perfection. And I mean that. You should get that. Honestly. Done shopping for the day? I will see you later, friend. Always a pleasure, Eivor. Thought up a few new ones for you. What have you got for me today?
That all for now? I would like to see what you have in stock. All right, if you're done. I have to go. See you soon. See you later, A4. May I see your stores? That all for now? I must take my leave. So long. So long! We'll see you later, friend. Farewell, Abel. What is it you do here again? Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. But right now, we're more concerned with you building us a place to do our work. Get on that soon, won't you? I'm off. Be well, friend. Goodbye, Eivor. Perfect, you really are a generous one. An arrival. I wonder if Volker is among them. Is that it? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Until next we meet. Hey! Where did the others go? Eivor. What a pleasure to see you. Let's go. Can't raise the sail yet. Sing, my ravens. Let's hear a story. Sail out! A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned. Or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had never felt a beast myself, and my father saw that this upset me. I was only a boy, but I had the dreams of being a man. So one winter, my father asked me to perform a bargaining ritual to the goddess Skadi to improve his bow skill and snow sight. With glee warming my heart, I cut a hair and sacrificed it to the goddess, asking in exchange of skill and sight for my father. When the ritual was done, my father and I set off into the forest. 
We hunted all day until night fell, and we slew no game. That night, around the fire, I was sullen. My sacrifice had not been heeded, yet seeing my sad face, my father only smiled. Had you been hunting, he said, you would have killed... Here's only those who speak to her. Lower the mask. Mask up. Need to row our way out. Let's have a song. We need an epic tale. Let the sail out! Not long before leaving for England, I made a solitary trek into the mountains east of Fornberg. I was looking for elk or deer or other game to bring home. But my luck was poor, and I could find nothing worth my yeah. arrows. Coming up over a rise, I saw a rounded mountain ahead of me, with a strange narrow slit in the earth, running left to right. Ah, where were you? There appeared to be fresh water in this crevasse, which was strange. For it was on its side. As I approached, the ground the rumbled and the crevasse shuddered. Then it opened, as wide as a lake and ringed with color. Stepping back to take in the view, the I realized up. with a shock what I was seeing. The eye of Jormungandr, Sail. the world Sail. serpent. Yes, he sleeps near old Thornburg. Blessing us with his dreams. Oh, if we could return there now, I would show you the place. One day, maybe. One day, I will show you the place. <laughs> Strike up a tune.
Hush now. Sickard should be here with Arachnesons. What do you see? For Ivar Ragnarsson. Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! <laughs> now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, 
Weeping and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy. To run amok through the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole.